What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Gab with the Team Four Series bringing you the Young God Dieters deck profile. Let's get into it. Okay, I topped two regionals this weekend with PK Goki. Just go to the deck list. It, it'll explain itself when you see it. Um, that's three junk forward, three Moron Captain, and just start the combo so it's easy. One head bat. It's only usually to make combos easier. It's never like needed. Sometimes if you draw Octo, you can start. You can summon this off of Sold and just like it's extra value. And you can start combos with this with these as opposed to a Scorpion and Bearhug, which you can't with these anyways. And then two Octo, uh, three Twist, three Superx. These are the best ones. The, I had two and two just to have variety, but this is better just because it works with Teleport, so it has a small edge and consistency. And it, the grind comes up a lot where you just like Super X Twist, and that helps deal some final pieces of damage for game. I don't play uh, the two big ones because they don't work with these, and I just don't want bricks. And the PKs make up for any math problems that may occur. I play three boots, one cloak, one Nekrogardna, one Ibli. This is to search and then protect, uh, make them keep Ibli so they can't like do crazy things. I can just kill them when I want. It's just to get extra value off this soul search since you don't really like need it. Like to do combos with headbat, like you could before you'd like search a big Goki and you just discard it. But, like that does nothing. You don't want those big bad cards. And this this works with combos as level three. And like it's, it's a very easy setup. It was about forty first card. So I don't know, it's debatable. And then three ogre is the only hand trap because all the others are really not as high impact or if they are they come with risk like gamma. This also works to teleport and it's it removes threats as opposed to ash, it's just like somewhat passive. One rematch, divine sword, moon mirror. I don't want to talk about saying we're equipped because like it's not super relevant, but being able to have this be Moon Mirror or like Axe of Fools or any of anything that outs Floodgates is probably the best. Cause, like Living Fossil doesn't come up often because the banishing effect hurts some continuing plays like through banishing like you go through or something like you can't then sword. It's it's kind of awkward and I, I don't really like it. Um, I wrote a teleport for Dark Ogre, three instant for Invoker plays. Reborn, Soul Charge, three called by the grave, <coughs> and then finally the Family Traps, Brigadine and Fogblade. Fogblade is something that you can uh, search off boots or cloak. And it just like leaves you with some kind of defense if they do hand trap you. So often, like if you marauding or jump forward into one of those two, you invoke her into the superx and then search this to play around droll and just like set this. Especially like if you have a hand trap, it's it almost guarantees that your plays will continue next turn if they fail. But then you just like link those into a soul, get the octo, get the soul search. You have plays next turn and a trap. It's it guarantees like long game plays, and these three just push combos and work with pretty much all extenders. Two any two like uh, starters work together like instant fusion this, junk for this. They are full combo, but like you can't have two of the same. So that sucks, but like you need to play three to maximize the odds of drawing two. Extra deck, Dragonus for instant, Invoker, 
to a sold, which comes up a lot, unfortunately, because you want space for like other things, utility-wise, like Borosar, or Borlet, or Gumball, or Summon Sorceress, Firewall, Link Rebo, Thunderclock, Trigate, and then Standard Mermaid, or Nightmare Engine. Pretty simple, pretty much like the Boral load or whatever tech choice you had before, assuming you, you play these still, just became this. And it makes your combos a lot better through cherries and other just hand traps. It like almost doesn't matter like if you get hand trapped because of this. And this is like the best card. Absolutely. My side deck kind of sucked just because I didn't use a lot of it, but like what I did use was pretty good. I use this because in theory you can assault search it and then next turn it, it outs rivalry or goes in depending on like if they kill the assault. But like they would have go goes in before probably. It never resolved. Every time I drew it, I called wrong, even though like odds were in my favor. So I just stopped setting it in because it wasn't working right. It was just another monster, which was fine. So yeah, probably gonna use that again. Then you use Droll, Cherries, Ghost Bell. These are really good, like high impact cards, but they they really have situations that just make them suck. So like to minimize that, you just have them have one ofs. So you get the maximum value of playing like the one, increase the consistency of having the one powerful, it's like a bomb almost, bomb hand traps. And they can't play around like all of these, like easily. So like if they expect one, or you're playing one, they you commit to like cherries or something, then they'll start trying to play around that and then that plays into others. That's why I want variety. Also, like, you don't want to draw two of any, ever. That, that theory was okay. It never really was relevant, because I just drew, like, other hand traps, like Ogre or the Ash, which is just the best against Trickstar, Rogue decks, Desires. Uh, whenever I felt like Ogre wasn't enough, I put this in, and it was fine. I, the hand traps are still pretty good. And then Boros Sword was, in theory, if your opponent goes Goblin Phoenix, you have to just beat over them, and that's that actually sucks. But like, if you can summon this with Trigate, and that's 12,000 damage. I'm not sold on it yet because they can usually just like firewall instead of Goblin Phoenix, and that's just better, and that'll prevent you from doing anything like this. So, maybe Gumblar, like that would have been irrelevant a few times, but deciding in the extra deck cards is rough with the tight extra deck. And these were the best cards, actually. Or, not this one. I, n I never used this one. It's it's a blowout, though, in some cases. But three twin, Dark Pole or Gehi, and a uh, rematch. These were to out, like, Inspector Border, specifically. That's the only reason I put them in. But I, they just, like, blew away fields and made me not care about, like, Socrates. Like, they'd activate stuff in the same way get Socrates and you just, like, Regeki. Doesn't matter. Continue combo. And then Twin, just destroy Floodgates. Clear back row. Make everything easier. And then the rematch helps grind the extra turn doesn't like there's no grind game beyond turn two really be, except for super x twist but like this helps with that if you're in a situation and hand traps that can come out you gotta have any shout outs today Dieter? shout outs to uh everybody that loaned me stuff shout outs to team boardwipe Everybody I played, everybody that traveled with me. That's it. Spencer's leader's deck profile. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel and get your game on YouTube. Peace.